Hello everyone, it is MD Tech here with another tutorial. Today I will be demonstrating an upgrade from Windows XP to Windows 10. Now it's important to know with Windows XP as well as Windows Vista, you, do are, you are not entitled to a free upgrade to Windows 10 as with Windows 7 and Windows 8 users. But this is more of a demonstration just to kind of see how it goes and more or less just kind of fun to see how it goes out and if for nothing else it just is an interesting experiment I want to see how it goes so anyway at this point I've already inserted my Windows 10 installation disk into the computer so to begin I'm going to restart the computer I'm going to tap on the escape key to load the boot options I'm going to boot from the CD-ROM drive. I'm going to press any key to boot. Okay, so we are the Windows setup. I'm going to select our language and keyboard input. I'm going to install now. Okay, so now, uh, since we are not upgrading from Windows 7 or Windows 8, we're going to have to enter a legitimate product key from Microsoft. Now, after you're done typing in your product key, you want to click on Next. You want to accept the licensing terms. Now, since we are upgrading from Windows XP, we have to select Custom, Install Windows Only, which is the advanced option we cannot perform an upgrade from Windows XP however if you're looking to upgrade everything from Windows XP or virtually almost everything from Windows XP and you want to get it on Windows 10 the only supported way from Microsoft to do that is to upgrade your Windows XP machine to either Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 and then upgrade it again to Windows 10 so I mean that, that's a little bit more of a hassle but if you're looking for an upgrade I guess you can perform it like that but for most users the uh, custom install is the most logical and reasonable option to perform we're gonna go off of drive 0 partition 1 whichever the largest um, hard drive is available select OK when prompted so right now Windows is copying files and getting everything ready to go and once this is done I will be back Hello everyone, so now we can either select customize settings and that will give us more choice over what we are allowing Microsoft to make their their recommended settings to default settings. Um, but for the simplicity of this review, we're just going to select use express settings because it will be a little bit faster. And now I am going to fast forward through this part and uh, once we see something new on the screen, I will be back. Now we're going to select who owns this PC. Most people watching this video are going to say I own it and not a corporation. So select I own it and then click next. Alright, so now make it your own. So this is pretty much asking if you want to make a Microsoft account or you can make a local account on the computer. And personally, I like making a local account. So we're going to skip over this step and we're going to create a local account. So I'm going to just type in a username right here and then I'm going to do a password and then I'm going to let Windows finish installing Okay everyone, so as we can see we have successfully upgraded to Windows 10 from Windows XP. Now it's important to note this upgrade involves a clean install of Windows 10. So when I say upgrade, I do not mean upgrading everything and including everything you had in Windows XP will be transferred over to Windows 10. That is not what we're trying to do here. But I hope this video helped you out guys. Take from as you wish. 
and I will see you in the next one. Bye.